Hi, I'm Dr. Aisha Arshad. The following informational video provided by St. Jude Medical will lead you through a description of tachycardia, therapy including techniques, and post-surgery information. Ventricular tachycardia occurs in approximately 2 out of 10,000 people. Tachycardia comes from the Latin words meaning swift or rapid heartbeat. It's an irregular rhythmic beating of the heart during which the heart muscle contracts in a rapid manner, which disrupts the normal pumping and flow of blood into the body. Tachycardia is a cardiac arrhythmia, characterized by a rate of more than 100 beats per minute. Tachycardia may be normal, for example, when induced by exercise. However, it can also prevent the heart from pumping an adequate amount of blood to the body. There are two forms of tachycardia, supraventricular tachycardia, SVT, and ventricular tachycardia, VT. In SVT, the arrhythmia originates above the ventricles and can be corrected using various treatment options. In VT, the arrhythmia originates within the ventricles and may be life-threatening and needs evaluation by a physician. Clinicians further classify tachycardia as non-sustained, lasting 30 seconds or less, or sustained, lasting 30 seconds or more. Tachycardia can develop as an early or late complication of a heart attack, as a result of heart disease, following heart surgery, or as a side effect of heart medication. Symptoms include lightheadedness, shortness of breath, and chest pain. Upon diagnosis of tachycardia, a physician may choose to treat the patient using medication or ablation, which involves cauterizing an area of the heart to eliminate the responsible tissue. However, if these techniques are ineffective, another option for treating ventricular tachycardia for those who are at risk of cardiac arrest may be an implantable cardioverter defibrillator or an ICD. The ICD system looks and works much like a pacemaker. It detects sustained tachycardia and delivers a small electrical impulse to the heart to restore the heart's normal rhythm. The device is implanted under the skin and attached to one or more leads or pacing wires which are placed in or on the heart muscle. During surgery to implant an ICD, a lead is inserted through a vein in the body. The tip of the lead, called an electrode, is then placed in one or more of the heart's chambers. The other end of the lead is attached to the ICD which is usually placed in the chest just under the skin. After having surgery to implant a medical device, you will experience some initial discomfort. However, over the next few weeks, this will resolve completely. Perhaps the most important factor in the recovery process is getting regular checkups. During each visit, your doctor will use a computer to analyze information from your device, interpret that information, and sometimes change the settings to adapt to your condition. Your doctor will also check the battery of your ICD, which lasts on average between four to six years. When the battery begins to run low, your doctor will schedule a simple surgery to replace it. Most patients leave the hospital the same day they check in for the procedure. Thank you for watching. This video was created by St. Jude Medical to provide information about cardiac rhythm disorders and implantable device therapy. This is not a substitute for medical advice. If you have questions about a heart condition, please talk to your physician.